Hey, yo, man, what's up? It's your boy, Los. Um, shout out to my guys, uh, Kwame and Baron. They tagged me in this video. Um, hopefully this goes viral, not necessarily my video, but the, the challenge as a whole. Um, I think this is a dope uh, concept, dope uh, thing to discuss, especially in times like this, well, anytime necessarily, but definitely in times like this when people are uncertain about certain things and need something to run to, hold on to, and cling to. And so my prayer is that um, this challenge, you know, soars and excels and becomes super viral. <laughs> but anyways, um, if I can be honest, man, uh, for, man, since the day, which was like last week sometime, my guys tagged me in this, um, I have wrestled with doing this video. Um, I have done many videos and then deleted them. Um, and each time I'm doing the video, right, so I'm hyped doing the video, right, I'm, I am excited about speaking about uh, my history, where I came from, who I am, um, who Christ, you know, made me, and this and the third, and when he saved me, and, you know, so on and so forth, right, so uh, excited about that, but then in the midst of me doing the video, um, it's like I'm reminded um, that I'm claiming that Christ has changed my life, right, Yet and still, I'm still committing sins, right? And so I am sitting here speaking about the beauty of the Lord and his awesomeness and this, that, and the third and took me from here, took me from there. But then it's like in the back of my mind, I'm reminded you talk all this talk, but yet you still commit sins. Some of the same sins you've been wrestling with since, uh, since you know, the Lord saved you. Um, and, and so that discourages me, right? And I just turned the camera off and just going with life like, yo, I'll do it some other time. And so this is like over a week now of me having this wrestle, having this battle and constantly reminded of my sins. So it's like one of those, how can I, how can I speak about the beauty of the Lord and speak about his, his transformational power yet still stuck in certain sins, right? And it wasn't honestly until this morning as I'm getting ready to head inside Chick-fil-A and grab the family some food. Well, I ain't heading inside because, you know. But uh, at Chick-fil-A, getting the, get the family some food um, is when I'm reminded that for years, right, I was super, super charismatic. Nothing against charismatics. There's there's definitely some in there who actually have an a, 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 a un adulterated love for the lord they you know what i'm saying love god wholeheartedly we just practice certain things differently but for the most part they love god so shout out to charismatics um those that love god um, but i was super charismatic and so for me it was more emotional and not just emotional but more of showmanship um and so my my salvation was based off of how well i fell out when when the altar call was called or um, how well I spoke in tongues or how much I gave in my tithes and my offerings and my salvation was based on that right and so there was no there was no constant remembrance of sin there was no there was no thought process of yep I'm a sinner but yet Christ has died for me there wasn't even a thought process of asking God for forgiveness of my sins actually for me it was more of a it's Sunday morning I'm at church although the Monday prior and then the Saturday before, I literally live like the world. Um, all of a sudden now it's Sunday morning and I have to go to front and, you know, raise my hands and get oil placed on my forehead. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm now uh, forgiven for my sins. I'm saved again, born again. And, you know, now I'm, I'm good. Now me and God is straight. And then literally many cases right after I left that service there, you know, me and old girl get up and it's whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And so, so there was prior to Christ and his salvation, his authentic salvation, there was no, no fear of, of God. There was, there was also, there was no fear of God and there was no hatred for my sin. So I'm reminded this morning that although, yes, I still sin. Yes, I fall short day in and day out and, 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 and it bothers me. They're in me now compared to before. There's a genuine hatred for that sin. Now, um, and there's a desire to live right and live holy, even though I still sin. And my wife will tell you, I find myself at times when I, when I allow myself to, man, ponder, continually ponder on my sins and my past. Um, I get discouraged. I get down. I get depressed. Almost at a, at a, um, 
alarming rate of depression. Um, and I was just talking to one of my guys actually today about a shout out to uh, well, him. Uh, I ain't going to put him out. But uh, we were just talking about how going from the charismatic movement to how things are today and how, you know, hate the man I used to be and hate how I used to conduct myself and how I viewed God. And, um, you know, just, just a lot of crazy, crazy talk. But um, I guess not to take too much more, more time, but my transformation in this context here was um yes i'm a sinner yes i still continue to commit sins but i hate the sins that i commit and i'm earnestly fighting against committing those sins like i have cats that i call up on the regular basis and we chop up and we honestly confess where we are and we are fighting to to live holy and be right before god and so my point i guess my part of this is my fights or how christ changed me is no longer enjoying and indulging in my sin but yet a earnest wholehearted hatred for it yeah grace